Hello, New York City. So yes, I am back in the city. I don't know what to say. I love this city. I feel very at home in this city. I feel like this city loves me back. However, I noticed that something happens every single time that I might not have noticed until I poop, <laughs> until I pooped my pants in New York City. Let me explain. New York City. The city where dreams are made of. I first moved to New York City in October 2021 to help form the content house called Your Mom's House. Six months later. New chapter. With record high rent prices in New York and me just starting to build up a savings, Welcome I moved back home to, to Alaska. Alaska. Now don't get me wrong. I love Alaska, but I had spent all this time building a community and a career in New York. So anytime I got the opportunity to come back to New York, anytime any of my friends were leaving or had a sublease available, I was there. So I was thrilled when I found out that one of my USC classmates was leaving for almost two months. The longest amount of time that I could come back to New York since I left. So that all brings us to February 2nd, my last day in Alaska before leaving to New York. Hey, I am now in downtown Anchorage, the place that I'm staying at does not have laundry. I'm literally gonna buy some new underwear so I can wash it to pack on my trip so I can minimize doing laundry as much as possible. I'm at the Fifth Avenue Mall. This used to be the hangout spot in middle school stores. We have Lululemon. We used to have a Nordstrom. They closed. Fall time. We don't have sales tax. New York has 8.8% sales tax, so it is actually better to buy stuff here. Smart wool socks. I really like these colors, kind of cardinal gold, which reminds me of like USC colors. It is now eight. I have been getting like much more into cooking, so I do really want to keep that habit up in New York. The girl whose place I'm staying at, she's a big cook. She'll have everything that I need, so that's going to be a big goal of mine. Keep making home cooked meals. I think I'm just gonna take one bag, one check-in, because I just hate overpacking, but I might be underestimating severely the amount of clothes that I will need for a month. I'm all packed, I took a body shower. It's honestly always like very bittersweet leaving either like Alaska or New York. It's just kind of weird like living a whole life here and then leaving for a completely new one, new bed, new place, new routine, new neighborhood. But I think it's kind of necessary for growth and like for what I'm trying to do. Not to say that I'm complaining at all, but it is somewhat uncomfortable to leave a life that you know for just one that's you're not sure of okay uber arriving soon my big ass bag was overweight by like two pounds so she helped me take some stuff out of it and these did it i was like why did i pack all these books i'll read them now i have to Every time I go back to New York, it's pretty much staying at a different place at some different point in time. It kind of feels like a checkpoint in a video game. It's like I'm coming back, but every time I come back, I start with more experience than the last time and I build upon it. I think that I've reached a new level of checkpoint with this one. But as with every checkpoint in every video game, you have to slay some dragon or something before you get to the next one. <laughs> I made it. Here is the place. Here is Tiffany's place that I'm staying at for the month. The perfect little space. The kitchen. The bathroom. This is going to be home for the next month. I'm very excited and blessed. Oh. Okay, second day here. My sister is actually here, so I'm gonna go get her. Hello! <laughs> it's sold out. Thank you. Look at this cute bag we got from Trader Joe's. <laughs> it was eight nine and nine, but it looks like trash. <laughs> we call that trashy chic. <laughs>
We also got some other tins. We now have food. And um, that's pretty much it. I was thrilled to be back in the city, and this time, I'd raise the bar and aim higher. On February 4th, I wrote in my journal, I am going to do more in this month, meet up with more people, be more seen on my social media, put more podcasts out, and make more money this month than I ever have. And I will have the energy and time for my diet and lifestyle, I wrote. Little did I know just how ironic and naive that that was. So you have to drink celery juice to get the histamines out. Unfortunately, this may inaccurately appear as a celery allergy. What did you feed me? <laughs> <laughs> you pooped your pants. <laughs> what color was the poop? It was literally filled with chia seeds. Okay. Sometimes my poop is black when I'm detoxing. Yeah, it might have been black, but it was on black underwear, so I couldn't really tell. <laughs> This is an indicator you need a detox. Yeah, I've been knowing that I need a detox. Should we make another celery juice, maybe? What? Yeah, I think. <laughs> the week following, I had a series of events that put me into somewhat of a downward spiral. Where instead of being positive and taking these as obstacles and challenges, I would retreat into my dysfunctional whirlwind where I often call chaos home, where any inkling of positive energy is just sucked into this black vortex because I don't allow any light to come in. And of course, this is mostly mental, but sometimes it just seems like everything negative is coming all at once. I was journaling and just realized I could ask this of my subscribers. I think there, I don't know if there'd be any interest or like this would be helpful, but I found out that my friend passed away because um okay so this was really my classmate like I haven't seen this girl in like years but we would just kind of like dm each other back and forth being like she just won three world records for the North American Indigenous Athletics Hall of Fame her name is Autumn I was literally just thinking of her last week and then she won her like all these impressive titles for her athletics and I was just like you're amazing and we just like sent each other like little messages like that. I was not even like close to her in my adult years, but just weird. So if you have any money to support, <sighs> I'll leave her go find me below. What's up? You want to talk about something? Um, no, not really. I don't know. I just felt like- Is you doing okay? Yeah, I just got out of my mood yesterday. <laughs> I just got off the phone with my mom. When I'm in these moods, I don't really feel like texting people back. Like, it's not even a feeling thing. It's just like I can't or I just don't or I don't know. She called me yesterday and I answered, but she could tell probably that I was in a mood. Um, so <laughs> this is also the day I message everyone back. When you're stuck in the same cycle, invite new energies into the vortex, let in light. I decided to re-enter society. I called up my friends who were in town and wanted to hang out. I told them all I was in a vortex and something crazy happened. That made me think I was like tripping up. <laughs> like what if, what if one of them like gets loose? Why, is how that? is this happening? We walked into the physical manifestation of the black vortex. What if the art is the purpose of art? The vortex that I was in just kept like sucking in, like everything just kept getting like, it just seemed like worse and worse. If you've been doing the same thing over and over again and want a change, the only thing you can do is something else. Even if it's just changing your perspective. Oh, let's go. We should go super fast. <laughs> oh, you're doing really well. Wait, what the heck? And therein lies the beauty of other people. By extending themselves to you, they invite you into their own entire universe. And if you're lucky to find the right ones, you'll find the ones that can shine a light in your darkness. Oh, when, are, when are you like ever gonna get this experience of like biking at three in the morning? 
Never. <laughs> okay, how hands-on do you want to be with this? You want to be pretty hands-on? Um, I mean, I can do a little bit. I think we also have to see the type space we're working with. New York kitchen. Oh! <gasps> This is what we're working with. We have to squeeze by each other, like... Yeah. Oh, also, like, check this out. You, you have to, like, empty everything. Wow. Everything is storage. One of my resolutions this year was to cook more. You cook amazing foods that are, like, better or as good as eating out. And huge thanks to HelloFresh for helping me to accomplish that goal and for sponsoring this part of the video. HelloFresh makes home cooking easier by delivering fresh ingredients and chef-crafted recipes right to your door. The recipes are easy to follow, which means you can get a delicious home-cooked meal on the table without all of the time-consuming meal prepping or trips back and forth to the grocery store. I had a luxurious time cooking and eating HelloFresh meals by myself. 10 out of 10. But it was also really fun to cook with someone else. All right. All right. Oh. <laughs> You may learn a lot about your friend from this experience. So you can go to HelloFresh.com and use the code Anmarie60 for 60% off plus free shipping to get your own delicious home cooked meals. Second. Second. Mm. It's so good. This is my favorite out of the three. The salmon was really good. It goes salmon. No, it goes this, salmon, and then the one last night. I agree. I would say salmon, this. Love that. Yeah. The next station is Flushing Main Street. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going back to my place. Do the game? It's so hard. Is it? Wow. Welcome to Ryan's world. Ryan invited us over to stay at his house. I remember wondering if I should because I had so much work to do, but I'm really glad that I did. It's easy to stay consumed by your own world until you step outside or go to a new place. I think since meeting you, I have been on my own spiritual journey. Definitely. Like the synchronicity stuff, like the energy stuff, I'm like starting to see it a little bit, I think. It's just interesting. Big scalp. Big scalp. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, me too. Mm. Oh, good. I taste like scallop turkey. That's kind of better than scallop. My favorite, Pocky. Pocky. I think the wafers, wafers are fire, fire, fire pick from Henry. Yeah. Ice cream. Oh, oh, have you tried this one? No. What is that? Is that boba? Yeah. Have you what tried the it? heck? You haven't tried it? Okay, I'll get it. No. Wait, that's crazy. I feel like if there are any cooks watching your YouTube channel, they're gonna judge me. Well, they shouldn't. The best. Wow. Boom. Yeah, this is fantastic. And Marie? It's actually really hot. It's really hot. Ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> I think hurt my hands. <laughs> We're gonna wait a minute. First bite. First bite. Who's gonna do it? Alright, fine. Oh, it's so <laughs> hot. <laughs> Alright, first bite. It's <laughs> hot. It is hot. I found that sometimes in life, I need to hit a bottom in order to feel so uncomfortable that I'm forced to change. And of course, this is never easy. Remember when you pooped yourself? <laughs> <laughs> but if you continuously try and reach for new energies and try new things, the day will come that you can face what was your vortex and realize that it's no longer a cycle that's sucking you in. And with that, our game of life changes.